GMX is, it's basically a, a, it's a decentralized exchange where users can trade, you know, spot markets and perpetual swaps uh, for supported assets on the GMX network. So GMX, we'll get into the assets and stuff later, but GMX is built on Arbitrum, which is the layer two Ethereum scaling solution, as well as on uh, Avalanche, uh, which is an alt L1. Uh, as you can see, the targeting you know, high throughput uh, blockchains because you require that kind of throughput for all the transactions that take place on DEXs and, you know, something like Ethereum probably wouldn't support such a high volume. So anyway, so uh, GMX allows, you know, as I said, allows users to trade different assets that are supported in the different pools. And it allows users to either, you know, just go long or short like a normal spot market, or they can buy perpetual swaps, which is, basically a future which you can you know trade indefinitely into time and they allow users to take up to 30x leverage so that means they can <clears throat> borrow up to 30 times their collateral value uh, uh so yeah that's how it works uh so the key selling point of uh, gmx is that unlike traditional dexes that currently use an amm model where it's a you know it's a constant product function where the product of your two assets has to equal a constant and the price keeps fluctuating depending on that, which leads to impermanent loss and liquidity providers need to constantly arbitrage to get the price back to its current market price. But GMX, they actually use an Oracle pricing model. So they use Chainlink to basically get price feeds from centralized exchanges like Binance and FTX to get the true price of an asset without the need for LPs to, you know, arbitrage to find the true price or discover the true price of the asset. And that leads to way lower slippage during trades, um, which is very important if you're conducting trades with a high, you know, high volume trades. It's way easier to conduct it on GMX than it would be, for example, on Uniswap.